Hello everyone and welcome back to City Skylines, the how-to tutorial series with me, Resgaltier, and today we're gonna be going over some other problems that we have in our city, like garbage, for example. So in our last episode, we unlocked a milestone called Little Hamlet, right? We got your garbage, your healthcare, and your education, right? And all these little buildings right here. We're gonna talk about all these buildings. Uh, these two are part of a DLC. I highly recommend getting this recycling center for sure. And uh, I think this is part of a theme. This building's part of a theme. And this building's also part of a, of a theme. I think it's the European theme, which I think console and PC have. Not 100% sure. But anyway, we're going to talk about garbage. The landfill site, you can see the big bubble of pollution. It's freaking huge. You don't want the purple to touch anything over in your residential area. Okay, the purple is pollution. It'll make your citizens sick. So let's say if I put it here, everybody in the purple, as you can see right here in this little area here, everybody in the purple will get sick, right? And if they get sick, they'll die. And if they die, you'll lose population. You don't want that, right? That's for sure. You can use a recycling center. It's a little, the circle's a little bit smaller, but you also have this orange circle now, which is called noise pollution. The noise pollution also makes your citizens sick. Not sure how they get sick from that, but I guess it's whatever. And they don't want to, you don't want to live near noise, right? You don't, you don't want to live near that at all. So like I said, I highly recommend getting the, whatever this DLC is in, whatever this is in, whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever DLC this is, I actually forgot. I want to say it's green cities. I think it's the green cities DLC, but make sure you look before you buy it. I'm pretty sure it's green cities though. So what will happen is I'll place this down and in, the difference between a landfill site and a recycling center is that the landfill site will will fill up right and when it fills up there'll be x amount of garbage in there okay so let's, let's say there's like one garbage bag okay someone a truck came put in one garbage bag you'd have to empty that in order to move it or delete it and once it gets full you have to also empty it so to avoid that problem altogether we're gonna just put in a nice little recycling center and this is a small circle we'll just put it like right here okay just because it's a little nice little small circle you can put it pretty much anywhere here i would highly recommend not putting it on your main road though you don't want trucks to stop and then turn in uh but if it's up here it's okay you know just off of the main road right you don't want it to interfere with the big the main traffic on any year any your road which this is going to get upgraded to a six lane later on so we definitely don't want it on that road so we're going to keep it over here in our industrial zone which will probably go away eventually, but we'll still keep this here just as a reference or whatever, whatever if we want to turn into something, maybe. So yeah, there you go. So that's basically your garbage done. We're going to let the garbage trucks come right here. These guys right here. Let the garbage trucks come and they're going to get the garbage. Look at that. Go on, get the garbage. Group, okay. You turn very fast, let me tell you. There we go. That's better. A little bit slower. There we go. All the way into the thing. They're gonna. I don't know if they stop or not. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I'm gonna say no that they don't stop at the house. But you get the idea. And then they drive it all the way back into the recycling center again. Just like, just like they uh, they should do. Why is there a donut guy going over here? Hey, what are you doing over here, sir? There's no donuts over here that I know of. Okay, well. And they go boop, right up, right back in there. There you go. And that's basically it. This building right here never fills up. Okay. You can see the garbage reserves, right? There's a lot of garbage reserves. We've already collected a lot of garbage. Okay. Uh, it processes 24,000 a week. So it tells you a lot of information, right? Then you got your garbage trucks. In use is one out of 15. This is going to fill up fast. I think we might need more of those eventually. So we're going to put in another one. Later down the road, not right now. We want to we want to satisfy these guys' needs. And this is the symbol saying, hey, don't have enough power, okay? And if you remember in the last episode, we turned down the power. Okay, we're going to go up to 75, all right? And then when we play it, right, 11, and it should go up, there we go, 13. It actually has to go up higher. No, 26, okay, there we go, good. Let's just throw in a, a, a medical clinic, okay? Let's try and throw in one of these bad boys. Absolutely no idea. You know what? We'll make a little special little area for the medical clinic. How about that? We'll use uh, we'll use this road. And uh, just because we're feeling spontaneous, we're just going to put it right off of here. Just like this. There we go. And then right to there. There we go. And then we'll put the medical clinic right on that road. Perfectly right in the center, just like that. 
And then these guys should stop being sick, I hope, right? What is sick? What is polluting the ground though? I don't understand. There's a medical clinic here. Let's see, let's see what happens. Let's just follow this guy. Let's see what happens. Get out of here. It's gonna go, gonna pick up this guy. Gonna go in there and what's gonna happen? Bring him out and nothing happened. <laughs> okay, oh no, it's gone. Okay, good, good. Alrighty, so hopefully that'll help with whatever the heck's going on there. And uh, you know what? We'll, we're gonna put a school in here too. We want our citizens to get educated, right? School is very important. It helps with your growth, your population, right? There's also, I should probably mention this now, taxes, right? The problem is that the higher this goes, you'll notice we'll start making more money down here. Put on three times for you. We'll start making more money. However, the citizens should start to get unhappy with the taxes. There we go, okay. So you see this icon right here that says, hey, the taxes are too dang high. And he, this guy's right, you know, the taxes are high. So if you put it up too high, eventually they'll, they'll say, hey, that is ridiculous. <laughs> And, and it is, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I put this up to 10, okay? And then I put this one up to 11, and I put this one up to 11. The reason I do that is because I can actually put this up to 12. I'll do a 10, 11, and 12. Kind of like that, yeah. So the reason I put this up to 10 instead of nine is one, because I want to make a little bit more money. However, I don't want to go up to 11 or 12, because eventually it'll, it won't encourage citizens to move into your city, right? So the higher this is, the less likely you'll they'll move into your city. I'm not 100% sure as to how much the taxes affects them from moving in and out of the buildings. Okay, I do know that it affects them moving in. Like there's encouragement to move in if the taxes are a bit lower than everything else. So anyway, let's put it in our school. Okay, put it in our school for the kids to learn. I cannot put anything here. I'm actually a little bit sad about that. But it is, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> it is what it is. Anyway, should I put this on this road? I will just put it there anyway. You know what? We put this road there. We'll just, we'll, we'll, might as well just use it. You know what I'm saying? Just use the dang road. It is what it is. But there you go. Okay. Nice little area to distinguish our stuff. <laughs> so, whatever. Do these, uh, this fill up? No. Patience. Amos, okay. This fills up though. So you'll see that this says 87 out of 300 students. Right? Elementary students in the city is 83. So literally every single every single kid is going to our school right now. You can also keep an eye on it in this tab right here. Right? So this will tell you, say, hey, there's not enough schools, right? You don't want to place the schools like everywhere. So if you have like a school here, it'll cover this city right here. You can see it's Pretty green. I probably should have put it more in the middle though, but it's pretty green. I think once we get the path in there, it should be okay, I'm gonna say. But the greener the better. I didn't mention this earlier either. There's a lot of stuff I didn't mention. I actually forgot about this. But you'll see it, all the roads turn green. They were gray before I threw that in there, but now they're all green. It covers up a pretty good size. We could build over here and this, uh, the garbage would actually come over here and collect the garbage in this little small town or whatever you want to call it. But let's see if I, uh, when I put in fire and police, I'll show you, hopefully I remember. Oh, here we go, look. You see how this is covering more of an area now? You see how it's a little bit less green and then boom, green. That's good, you, you want as much coverage as you can. When you get fire, I'll show you over here. Okay. So we'll just put on three times speed. We're not really doing anything right now. We should build out our city though. That is for sure. Okay, this is gonna make our city a little bit different, but I want certain th things to stand out. What I also do is I, when the landscaping unlocks, I put like a little, a nice little big bright tree right there, just so I know what the heck is there. <laughs> Say, hey, something important's here. And I use that for my buses and stuff. We don't have it unlocked, but I use it for my bus routes and stuff later too, so. It's good to know where certain things are and to do that, you wanna make them look interesting, right? You wanna make it look, you wanna make it stand out from all the rest. Like if I was to plop it in here, you wouldn't know where it was later down the road. But because I did this, it looks a lot nicer and it stands out more. Let's uh, put a road right there too. There we go. Residential, all around here, there we go. And uh, do I wanna put residential here? Probably not, probably not. But there you go, you know what I'm saying? And that's gonna help with uh, getting around. Bringing around town, you know? No? Okay. It is what it is. <laughs> but 
there you go. Look at that. Look how nice that looks. See that? Stands right the heck out. It's good for everybody. Let's let's build in some more stuff. Okay. Let's pause it so that I can actually record it later. Ooh, 90%, 5% traffic. Look at that. That's going to probably go down eventually. We'll see how that goes. Right? And you can even curve your road. You get the little curve tool like this. You can even curve your road. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this. We're going to do free form, actually. We're going to go out this way. I said it's good to do grids, but, you know, sometimes you just got to... Sometimes you just want to let it get a little, a little crazy, a little funky. A little bit crazy. A little bit funky, you know? It's good if I take this off, though, so I can actually see what I'm doing. Well, yeah, there you go. And then you can just put this here, and you can put this, uh... Um... Right there, there you go. A little bit crazy. There you go. <laughs> it, it looked good, whatever. <laughs> Gonna get polluted anyway, so it's okay. But there you go, you, you, get, you get the gist of it. Let's put in these buildings now. Uh, like I said, you'd have to put in, I have a mod to save time, but you would have to put in pipes, right? So if you go up 440, I, just, I said this in the beginning, 440, just go straight out like this. You get that nice overlap, just like that. There you go, nice overlap. Do the same thing, 440. Go out again. You get that nice overlap, and there you go. Now this place, now this section here has water. Okay, I have a mod, so I don't have to keep doing that. So yeah, and then same thing in the last episode I showed you. If so, you see this part right here. This doesn't have any power. If I was to do this and play it, these will go blue. It's just like these ones over here should. Oh no, they won't because I have the mod on. They would go blue if I didn't have the mod on to show that there is power running to them. But because I have a mod on, it's not going to go blue, so it's, it's okay. Um, I don't want this to build out yet. I want to capture it. So let's, let's, let's watch this build out. Okay. Let's watch this build out. I'm going to just go like, uh, just like this. There we go. that we got a worthy village look at that look at that so in the next episode uh maybe even this episode oh actually you know what we'll put in our we'll put in our fire and our police departments right now but we got a lot of extra stuff so you got your new area your districts and policies and your loans i tried to not take out the loans because i don't want to i don't want to waste money paying something off that i could just gradually get myself i'd rather wait for it so i try to avoid loans at all costs when i play this game we got self-sufficient buildings. That comes with a DLC, I'm pretty sure. You got your policies right here. And you got your fire and police station. This one is a European one. This one's also a European one. You sh might have those if you have them enabled. I'm pretty sure everybody gets it no matter what. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. But I'm almost positive everybody gets those kind of styles no matter what. Let's, let's, do, a, let's do a district in here, okay? Let's do a little district. Let's say that, uh, let's say, uh, hey, you know what? My, my factories catch on fire a lot. Okay, they catch on fire a lot. Let's do this, all right? So the fire, the firemen go pretty far. They don't go usually far, but you know, they, they do a good job. They go pretty far, okay? What I could do is I could literally just smack a fire station up in here, just like this. Um, uh, I want it to be kind of lined up with this road, but you know what? It's probably not going to happen. So I'm going to do the best that I can right there. Anyway, let's paint this district. Let's say that my factories catch on fire too much. There's a fire station right here, but they're just not doing the job. We're going to paint this district with our paintbrush. Click on this little district icon down here. Brought the district. Okay. Fill all that in. Paint it. Fill it all in. Okay pretty good this is pretty good there we go we want to make sure that the, di the district covers the buildings okay you gotta make sure that if you want something in the district you gotta cover it up okay so if i was to do like say i don't know let's say i want this in a district but i only want this certain part right here right let's say i just want these buildings i'd have to delete this to keep these houses here out of the district right so whatever's in the district is gonna affect the district. Let's pause it, because I got some power problems going on again. 
because the coal power plants are not that great. So let's let's go in here. I'm gonna click on this name right here. Concord Heights. Okay. We're gonna go into policies. Oh, there's styles. Okay, cool. We're gonna go into policies and let's say we want to put on because I don't have anything else unlocked. We're gonna put on smoke detector distribution. So what's gonna do is it's gonna reduce the risk of fires, but it's gonna cost money per building, right? But it's okay. We're gonna provide it to our district factory district area. I like to do this to be honest. I like to do it a lot. So you have to make sure you click on the district and do it this way. Because if you don't click on the district, okay, if you don't click on the district and you just click on the policies right here, you'll see that it's not checked. If you do that, it'll it'll do everything in your city. So you're gonna be wasting a lot of money. But don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. Technically, I should put it over here now. Because it's less likely for these buildings to catch on fire with a smoke detector distribution. These ones are going to catch on fire. <laughs> so, let us see. We don't really need it to be specifically anywhere in particular. We should put it in the middle, but we're not going to do that for reasons. We'll put it right... Uh, we'll put it right here. No, we won't because I have to get this... No, no, we won't. I lied. I lied. I lied. I'm a liar. Let's just put it uh, right here. Okay. Well, there we go. So because I made a district over here, they're still gonna, it's still gonna cover. You can see all the happy faces that happened. It's still gonna cover it, but this part is less likely to catch fire now because of my district right here. Let's let's name it to F, F. No fire factories. That's it. It's, it is what it is. What it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. Anyway, that's good. So there you go. You know, police. Wait, is this a police? No, that's fire. Police, here we go. <laughs> you also want this in a certain spot too. Okay, so you want this to cover as much as possible. The police will go pretty far. Even though this is still gray, it'll still go pretty far, but it'll take a while for them to get there. But they'll still go, you know. They're not they're not buttholes, you know. We're gonna put that right there. And there you go, you can see the smiles. And it actually did not go out here. So hopefully it'll go out there anyway. We'll see how that goes. We need more factory, we need more commercial, and we need more residential. So let's just quickly put that in, okay? And then we should, I think we're gonna wrap up the video right there, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure what I covered. <laughs> I have no idea what I covered. <laughs> Probably not gonna do that, actually. I'm not sure. I have no idea what I covered. <laughs> let's just do this. Fill in all these little spaces right here, like that, there you go. You know, and I just fill in, uh, fill in this spot too, and then we'll fill in this side as well. There we go. And then we don't want it to connect to this road, because if this, even though you want it to build this way, right on this road, if you connect it to this way, some buildings will go on this road, some buildings will face this road, I mean, and some buildings will face this road. Okay, so if, it's best to just not have this line here. You just have them force, force them all to face this road. Okay, that's the best thing to do. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna want some commercial for these guys. Let's just throw in some commercial somewhere. Let's throw it right here. Right in the middle, just like that. What else? What else? Uh, eventually, we had to start thinking about another main road for the cars to go up. So I think that in this part, we'll have our... Technically, I should have done it there. Technically, I should have put this as a main road. Technically, can I still do that? Should I put it as no? I can't put it as a six lane road now. It's too late. It is too late. I don't want to mess with that. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll do this one this way and then back. Okay, this is gonna be part of our main road here, right here. We're gonna have to go down here. We don't have enough money right now. I ran out of money, but you get the idea. That's gonna be a main road. It's probably gonna be a six lane road. I might want that road to go up this way. Okay. We'll see, we'll see as we go. All right, we'll see as we go. So there you go, that's pretty much that. Um, Let us, I wanna, how much commercial do we even need? I don't even know. Let's just wait for all this to fill up anyway. We'll watch it from this side this time. And we're just gonna put it on three times speed and let it just do its thing, there we go.
let's say that uh, let's say I want some nice fancy buildings up here okay let's just say I want some nice fancy buildings up here right we're not gonna make this up here a grid it's gonna be its own thing it's gonna be its own thing okay nice little area up there and we don't want a grid up here we want it to be all you know kind of spread out kind of its own thing okay Technically, I should be doing this in a more, you know, forestry area like this, like that. But uh, I want to show off a district thing now, so I have to do it now. But eventually, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll put it over here too. We'll just spread this kind of stuff out over here as well. Richie, Rich. Heights. There we go, with a question mark. <laughs> just because I have no idea. Anyway. Let's say, yeah, uh, let's do a, uh, we want to go for a European style, maybe. I don't know. Now we just do the default style. Anyway, we're going to put on, uh, not policies. In our districts and areas section right here, we have these other tabs, right? We got our industry specializations. We got our commercial specializations and then we got our residential specializations, right? So we can have this as self-sufficient buildings. Okay. They consume less energy, produce less garbage. But they, oh, and they, they, <laughs> they bring in less tax income too. So maybe we're not going to do a whole section of it, but you know, whatever. Maybe we'll just bring this area down here a little bit and we'll see how that goes. Okay. But for now, we're going to just do this. We want this to be like a quote unquote, richy rich area. We want to make it look good. Let's see. Let's just say that we want this to come up this way. You know, let's just say we want it like this. I'm gonna make it go like this and you know what just for the sake of it nah, I like I actually yeah we have to do this <laughs> so if we had the move it mod I make it look I'd make this look better but I don't have a move it mod so this right now is just gonna be it is what it is kind of thing so there you go we got one connection over the bridge okay and I'm gonna have another connection right here pause it I don't think I painted this down here I did not hold up I gotta paint this area down here too there we go we gotta make sure that the buildings are inside the district otherwise it won't work so let's let's do that again these should delete this is going to be a good learning thing anyway for the most part these these houses right here should delete and rebuild oh and we reached tiny town we're not going to worry about that i think i have to, to turn off the uh this thing please let's just not the heck off <laughs> there we go that should be better. Okay, let's let's go back to watching this now. Look at these nice little buildings, right? They look pretty good. They look pretty like you know like a like a, a good person lives there. You know what I'm saying? Like a person, a wealthy person. You know what I'm saying? There you go. I like how it emphasizes this. That's good. I didn't know it actually did that. That's helpful. Uh, it's not helpful when I do zoom out shots. Oh no, never mind. It goes away. Good. Okay. Anyway, yeah. It's, it's, so you got the self self sufficient buildings. Looks pretty freaking nice. They're leveling up. <laughs> There's a lot of things going on. Someone somewhere is leveling up. Anyway, you can see that it, this house here, the summit residence, is now level two. And if you put your mouse right on it, as you saw. You'll see what you need to level it up to level three or so on and so forth. Okay. So right now we need to educate more citizens and that's because we unlocked our high school, right? So we're going to want to put this somewhere eventually, not right now doing the next episode. We're going to want to put this somewhere and the high school covers a lot of a pretty good ground, pretty, re pretty reasonable ground, right? There you go. But in the next episode, we'll look at all that. We'll look at turning these into, I'm going to do this right now. Actually, we're going to turn these into. There we go. Those kind of squares right there. I don't know. There we go. There we go. It's going to help us with the flow of the traffic. Now, worst case scenario is I make this a six lane and I make this a six lane 
and I make this a six lane. I don't really want this to be a six lane because now this is connected to it and this is also connected to it. So not sure what we'll do there, but we'll think of something maybe, but there you go. We got a bridge here. We got a bridge right here. The use and those. We'll talk about our pathways and stuff. Also in the next episode, everything we're going to do, going to get into more detailed stuff in the next episode. So hopefully this video is helping you grow your city. Hopefully you're learning some stuff. We're just going to just plop in some random stuff like this every now and then just to show you what it does and how it, uh, how it affects your city and whatever else, the types of things that you can do. Again, because we're going near this water, I decided just to put this here. So anyway, like I said, hope this video helped you in any way. If you're new, please subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.